People ask me, how did you ever construct that thumb bike? Well, it's really easy. You buy an electric scooter, you strip it, and you fill it with everything you want to get the shape right. And for that, we use really high technology, namely chicken wire. Before we started with the chicken wire, I had to get my seat and my footrest at the perfect spot. I started with aluminium tubes, welding a bit, and after a while it became this. My dear friend Tim Biesemans, which is a very known recumbent bike constructor in Belgium, he tested it and he had fun with it. So it was a stable uh, bike and yeah, it was a bit of a fun bike, hence the name. My son and I were really proud of what we did. But then, how to make the fairing? Now, I had the help of two guys, Sietze and Tess. To have that, those guys interested in the project was not really hard. I just had to show the bike and say, come on guys, let's start on it. First, we tried really with chicken wire already, but we covered it with construction foam. And we thought simply put the foam there, cut it into shape, but it is messy and it doesn't advance as quickly as you wished it would. Then I said, nope, let's do it away like they do it in England. They have very nice feet forward motorbikes over there. And uh, those were mostly constructed by using uh, foam and cutting the foam into shape. We tried it. thing I didn't like about using that technique was that it is not really easy to make complex curved shapes and I really want to have a sexy aerodynamic flow. So that mattered. Nope, didn't go through. And then we started simply by using chicken wire and glass fiber apart under the seat and attached chicken wire to that and after that bent it backwards, shaped it a bit, connected it here and there and it was really stable by itself. You put over it glass fiber which is already soaked in resin, let it connect to the chicken wire and you have already a nice construction. We started also by making a mud guard for the front wheel, which also was a protector of my legs for the rotating front wheel. We started by making the fairing the most visible part. Again, chicken wire, put glass fiber over it, which is soaked, let it dry, easy. Here and there you have plates which are drying and you need to connect them. If the thing is still wet, you really soak them together and it can be a good connection. Uh, if not, uh, you need to connect them by roughing up the previous uh, hardened layer and then connect it with the new one. So bits by bits, it came into shape. As you can see, the shape is really rough and not really mm, quite that sexy. But by adding, how do you call that paste, which they use by cars to remove dents and stuff like that. We use that. Now, what is something sexy, something black? So carbon was really the quick solution. But putting carbon on something white to a single layer of carbon, you can see through. So it would be black 
with white spots in between. I didn't like that idea. So somebody suggested, let's paint him black. Paint him black, put carbon over it, soak it, done. It was really easy once we knew how to do it. It took a while before we got to the right um, method. And yes, it is not a symmetrical bike. Symmetrically shaped is really not easy when you're using chicken wire. But how many times can you see the two sides of a motorbike at once? Not many. So I really didn't care about symmetrical shape. I wanted something that looked good and it is. It is a fun thing to use. Test driving this thing. I thought it would be hard to do. Okay, I have some experience with recumbent bikes, so I'm used to being on my back with my feet at the front. No problem to that. But Motorized, I was not used to that. Everything went smooth. No difficulty at all. Putting your feet on the rests was not even a hard effort to do. It really felt cool. Relax. Relax. <laughs> if you are interested in the electrical part of the bike, well, the normal scooter had one battery and it had a range of about 25 kilometers. Now, I added two batteries. Okay, it adds some weight. I could no longer put a passenger uh, behind me because uh, the weight, maximum weight would be too high. So I sacrificed that guy, girl. And uh, added two batteries, which made the range really amazing. It was really <laughs> a long distance electrical scooter. One thing I had to do was uh, I had to charge the batteries independently. So in the back I had three chargers, small parts, and I simply had to connect them to the batteries uh, apart and once they were loaded simply connect the batteries to the same system. Everything went well. Everything went well, but I wanted to work a bit on the motorbike. A few cables touch each other and gone batteries. So uh, that was the end of my project. It is being donated to a school, a technical school. I don't know how it ended, but to me it was fun. I hope you have something similar to construct yourself.